Right, James, you started a two-year scholarship with Charlton Town this season, but I understand you've you've got a bit of a talent away from football. <laughs> tell, me, tell me what you do. Yeah, I've done Irish dancing for about seven years. Um, competed in various competitions, such as the World Championships in Philadelphia, where I, where I come ninth. So you're ninth in the world. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> T- tell me, how, how did you get into that, and how does it sort of tie in with your football? Um, well, they, they both kind of help, help each other. M- my mum's a teacher, so um, I c- guess I kind of uh, got into it that way. But they kind of both help each other. Yeah. yeah. And you, you managed to juggle them both because obviously they both require a lot of hard work. So yeah. did you, how do you fit them both in? Well, Mondays and Wednesdays I would play football, and then Tuesdays and Thursdays I would do Irish dancing. So I had quite a busy life here. Yeah. So where, where do you do your dancing? Um, in Oxford, Oxford. Right, so you've you've already competed in in America in the yeah. world. What have you got anything else coming up? What's what's your next competition? Um, I, I, I don't do it anymore because now the football's taken over. So full time now here playing football. So, so it's got to a point where you thought you've you had to choose really between the yeah, two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, what what are your aims here at Cheltenham? You've decided to concentrate on football. Yeah, hopefully this first year and I'll develop myself fully as a player, and then the second year really. Give it, give it the best shot I can. Yeah. So, does it, does any of the stuff you learnt in Irish dancing help with your football? Is it because um, obviously it's fitness work as well? Yeah, the fast feet help quite a bit as well. Yeah, and um, the fitness, the fitness side of it, because two minutes Irish dancing is hard work. Yeah, and they can't, they can't be many footballers that that do no, Irish dance. No, it. Not many. No. Does everyone been quite positive about it? Yeah, yeah. The, the lads, the lads love seeing it. They think, they think it's quite, they think it's amazing, really. <laughs> Yeah. So, yeah. Do, you, do you ever show off your skills on the on the training pitch or anything like that? Wow. S- sometimes, yeah, they get me to do it. Yeah. yeah. And I know you've had a bit of an injury recently, haven't you? But how is it going on the pitch? Have you, have you settled in at Cheltenham? Yeah, settled in quite well. It's, it's been quite hard being away from home, but it's, it's, it's getting easier. And yeah. Yeah. Talk me through your, uh, your your football background then, because uh, you've only just come to Cheltenham haven't you, this season. So, yeah. What, what where were you before? I was at, I was at Redden for seven years, and then at, at under. Under fourteens, I joined Cheltenham. Right, so you've come through a few years and got yourself a scholarship. Yeah. yeah. Um, how are you finding working under Russell Milton and Jamie Victory? Yeah, it's brilliant. Yeah, they both encourage you and give you positive feedback, and they tell tell you tell you where you can improve and stuff. Yeah. So I suppose your first aim is to try and get a regular place in the youth team. Yeah, first definitely. Team, yeah. yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. And how have results been this season? Um, you know, are you happy with the way things are going? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've we've improved. We've improved a lot. Um, Result, result-wise and performance-wise, um, we didn't get off to the best start, but we've really turned it on and producing the performances and the results now. So. Yeah, and ho- hopefully you're going to have a long and successful football career. But is Irish dancing something you can always go back to? Do you think you'd like to go back to it one day, or do you think what well, now you're giving it up? That'll be it. Um, I don't know. I could, I might go and help my mum with the teaching, but f- for now I'm going to try and focus on the football and. Try and get a professional contract. Yeah, does she? Is that her job? Full-time job? Irish dancing uh, teacher. Well, she's a she's a teacher at um, teacher at a school, but she she's a she does a lot of the Irish dancing as well. Yeah, yeah. 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 And what what's, what made you just choose football over Irish dancing? Um, fo- football's what what I've loved all my life. I've done it from a very young age, so I, re- I really wanted to try and make a career out of football. So. Yeah. And what was it like going to America? To compete was, in that. It was amazing because I've been I've been to Canada for the North American Nationals as well, and it, I had an amazing result over there. I, I won over there, so it's, it's amazing like visiting all the places. Yeah. So you were you the British champion then? Um, I've uh, well I'm ninth, ninth in the world. Um, I've, I've danced at the Great Britons before and I've, I've come fifth. That's my highest place there. So. Yeah. Quite, quite impressive. Right. Brilliant. Cheers for that, James. Thank Thanks you. Cheers. Cheers.